embrace continues the traditions of their people, but also innovates and recognizes, you know, it is a, it's a living tradition and it reflects our modern world. Can you tell us a little bit more about that partnership that you have with GVSU? I mean, they're, they're going to be running a concurrent show as well, correct? They are. They'll open on January 11th on the Allendale campus, and it is a mix of all of the artists in each location with just additional works. And so there is painting, photography, traditional beadwork, traditional basketry. Uh, we have a quilt here made out of circuit boards uh, and then just some very wild contemporary painting. Hold on a second. I want to make sure I heard that right. A, a quilt made out of what? Uh, circuit boards, computer boards. Yeah, okay. That would definitely be taking the past and the present and, and mashing them up together. Tell us a little bit more about that. that. That's really what this does, right? This takes the Native American culture from the past and kind of mashes it together with contemporary art, right? It does. You know, certainly many of these practices, of course, were illegal. The federal government banned them for many, many years. So now a lot of these younger artists and older artists are rediscovering their culture. They're working in traditional ways that have been passed down from family members. Uh, and then others that are bringing all of those ideas together into something very new. So we have an international award winning jeweler, for instance, who uses kind of traditional sensitivities and motifs in an area that's not traditional. Uh, we also have uh, basket makers who are from the largest family of black ash weavers in the state of Michigan. And it's a continuity, uh, in this case, a mother daughter, Kelly Church and Cherish Parish, uh, who have works in the collection of the Smithsonian. So it's a really great mix of uh, artists and interests. And I know that the uh, Anishinaabe tribe is in the title of the exhibition, but I think you have an Ojibwe artist as well, right? We do. Uh, and Ojibwe is also uh, considered Anishinaabe. Oh, okay. Uh, Jim Denemy is out of the Twin Cities area, and his work deals very specifically with that kind of clash between mainstream European settlement culture and uh, native culture, a lot of the conflict that's resulted through the history uh, his show we call Challenging the Narrative because it looks at really both sides of all of the issues and takes a very uh, kind of no-nonsense but humorous approach to that. So there's a, certainly a lot of uh, confrontational issues, but he handles in a way that's just, you know, beautiful and colorful and